Hey friends, Miss Wendy with the Fairfield Public Library and today we will be making a polar bear in your kit that you picked up at the Fairfield Public Library or the Woods Branch Library, you'll find the following items. One package of Crayola Model Magic and one craft stick. You'll also need some additional items, a pair of scissors and markers. You can use any color marker you'd like, but I do suggest that you have a black marker as well. Let's get started. So friends, I'm going to show you a special way to open your model magic. We are going to just cut off one end and the other end. And then lift this up and just cut along here. This will give you a little space to work and to store your model magic. The model magic will be in a rectangle. And if you do wanna play around with it first, just make sure to get it back into a rectangle like this, because we are going to start with this and we're just gonna cut the model magic in half. So to get all of the pieces of our polar bear. Then we are going to cut this about a third and two thirds. So not directly in half, move your scissor over just a little bit and cut. And set those aside. Then with this, we are going to cut in half And then we're gonna cut in thirds, one, two, and three. They may not be exact, and that's okay, but the ones that are closest, keep those together. Then, actually cut this so that it's more of a rectangle, and keep, reserve that, and then cut this down the middle like that. All right, so these are gonna be your arms and your legs, your head and your body. And with these, we are going to make the other parts of our polar bear. So we will need a snout, and that's just a very little bit. I'm gonna put that by the head we will need ears and that's a very little bit maybe even less than that but we will cut that just a snip off and then in half and these will be the ears and we need a little tail so go ahead and cut just a little bit off and leave that for the tail the other thing we'll need is the hat and the scarf. So we're gonna just reserve that for the hat and the scarf and put this aside in case we need it somewhere else. So the first thing that we'll do, just maybe soften the edges a little bit. This is gonna be the body of your polar bear. And, and what you'll do is just kind of make it a little bit into a, little bit into a cylinder and we will put that on our foil here. And now we'll make legs. So grab one of the, the bigger, thicker pieces and roll it a bit in your hands and then squish it a bit. And, and then you're just gonna stick that right on to your polar bear at an angle angling out and we'll do the same for this leg. Roll it and then squish it back a little and make sure it looks maybe a little, make sure it looks a little bit like a cylinder and then stick that to your polar bear. The legs are gonna be facing out this way and the body's gonna be facing forward just a little bit. Now take what you reserved for the head and you can roll that into a ball. And 
And we're gonna set that aside. We'll make the snout to put on your polar bear's face, just like that. Set that aside. We'll do the arms. And the arms, we're gonna attach those a little bit differently. So you can roll them the same way and squeeze them back a little bit. And then you're gonna pinch just to make a place where you can attach the arm to your polar bear. Okay, and again, we're gonna roll it out and pinch it back a little bit and then pinch this side here and attach it to your polar bear. Now, we can continue with our face. So for the ears, make a little ball and then just flatten it a bit. So a little flat. Don't attach them yet. Make ooh, a little ball, roll it around in your hand to make a little ball and then squish it just a little bit. Don't attach them yet, just reserve those. And then this is gonna be a little tail. We're gonna attach the tail to the back of our polar bear and just stick it on there. All right, let's make our scarf. So I'm gonna move our polar bear aside just a second. We're gonna make our, our scarf. And if you want it to be a different color, you can actually color this Model Magic first, or you can wait till it dries and then you can color it in. But the way that I did this polar bear is I colored the Model Magic first. So just uh, warm it up in your hands, squish it around a bit, okay? And I'm gonna add just a little bit from here. Uh, I'm gonna reserve this for the um, brim of the hat. And now smash that down and I'll make a blue scarf this time. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm, and just put some color, dots of color right on the Model Magic. Tap your marker and then knead this in. Where'd the color go? Oh my goodness, it's in there. And knead it together. If you'd like a darker color, you can add more pigment. Just put some more on there. And knead it in. I'm gonna actually just cut this so we have some for our hat and for our scarf. So for our scarf, I'm just gonna roll out a thin line. Maybe use a little bit more from here. Do it again. get a little bit thinner but carefully because it could rip making it a little bit longer when it's about that length and it could be curved that's fine um, but it should be about the length of your model magic foil just gonna cut off the end to make it nice and flat. 
and I'm gonna put that for the hat. And what I'm gonna do um, is make a little bit of detail here and clip those edges. This is, if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to, if this is too, too tough. It is kind of a lot of fine motor work here. All right, so there's my scarf and now my hat. I'm just gonna kind of make it into a ball and then pull it out and to the side a little bit. Flatten one end and kind of pull it out into the side. It's like a little teardrop. I'm going to, before I touch any white, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. See how dirty they are? I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. I'll be right back. In order to make these cute little feet, like this, I am gonna take actually a little bit of the hands. And go ahead and roll each one of those into a ball and flatten it out and stick it right to the bottom of the foot. And again, a little ball, flatten it out and stick it on to the bottom. And now with your tool, just go ahead and make some scores on there. That's gonna be the little toes. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just making four little scores. One, two, three, and four. All right. And now, go ahead and roll this little white piece. Stick it on to the bottom of the cap there. Roll a little ball, stick it to the top, and there you go, there's a cap. So we're gonna go ahead and put the head on. We're gonna wrap the scarf around our polar bear, and we're gonna put our hat on. Next comes our ears. And then we're gonna go just right on the side of the hat, like that. You can let it either dry first or you can go ahead and take your black marker, make the eyes, the nose, the feet right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and first take my craft stick and I'm gonna make a little line on the nose and then a little smile there. So I could kind of see where I wanna put my marker. A vertical line and then a, a little bit of a smile just so I could see. All right. And so with my marker, I'm just gonna draw a little, uh, kind of like a little upside down triangle right there, and then a little bit of a smile. And for the eyes, you can either draw an oval like I did here, or for this polar bear, I'm just gonna put two dots for eyes. So dot and dot. There we go. And then for the feet, again, 
we're just gonna do dots for the little feet there. And then you could do a little oval here or you can kind of roll your marker like that. So I'm gonna move the scarf, the scarf's in the way. And then again, one, two, three, four, and then you can just roll your marker like that to make the feet. So there's your polar bear. And as always, friends, remember to clean up, but you might want to hold on to this foil to let your polar bear dry on the foil overnight. Nice job, friends. Woohoo! Thanks for joining us. I hope you had a good time making your polar bear or whatever it is that you decided to make with your model magic. And I hope to see some pictures of what you created. Please check our calendar for upcoming DIY and other events. And I hope to see you in the library soon. Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.